Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So these are the 2024 style trends you should know. There's some that I love, some not so much. So we're gonna get into it. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. So the first trend is the quiet luxury trend. We've seen this a lot in the past year in 2023. It is staying strong for 2024. And I really attribute that to the luxury prices going up and up. So a lot of women are and men are turning to quiet luxury to keep that those investment pieces looking polished, looking just really put together. I did a video recently in the fall on quiet luxury and cashmere and silk and just really picking pieces that have longevity and look beautiful and are not hard to style and mix and match in your closet. So that is one that I'm really excited to see stay in 2024. The second trend is secondhand fashion consignment. This is really big for me. As you know, I have been almost 100% buying consignment for all of my pieces that goes for shoes, handbags, dresses, my whole wardrobe that you see on Instagram and here on YouTube shorts is consignment like all my designer stuff. I will hunt down all of my favorite designers and find pieces and collections. I study the runway and it's really exciting for me. It's something that I've always done. I've been in fashion pretty much my whole entire life. So for me to really know collections from the 90s or from the early 2000s and put them together, it's almost like memory for me. I'll see a skirt and then I'll say, oh, I know that this has a jacket that matches. And then I'll wait weeks, months, a year to finally put the outfit together. But that's fun for me. I like that. So I'm really excited to see secondhand. I think there's history with pieces that I wonder, you know, what the women were doing in these ball gowns that I buy before who wore it and I just think it's really more sustainable, of course, but I think there's just so much more personality and excitement to secondhand and finding pieces and curating your closet because it's really you. No one else is going to have those pieces. So I'm excited to see that secondhand is going strong and I think it's only going to get stronger for 2024. The third trend is called girl core and that's anything with bows and ribbons and just being really feminine and girly. This isn't particularly my style. I kind of feel like they were going to throw in lace in there too. I'm not really a big lace person either, but this is all about that ultra feminine, not really Barbie, but it is more of that girly, you know, bows in the hairs and ribbon and rose, you know, brooches and all that kind of different stuff. So this is a trend that you're going to see in 2024. I'm not a big fan. I don't, I can't pull it off. I don't really gravitate towards lots of bows and ribbons and things like that. But just so you know, it can be on your radar if you're into that. The fourth trend that is going to be big in 2024 is sequined everything. Now this used to be really only for New Year's Eve. Like you'd bring out your sequins for New Year's Eve. I have plenty of sequined jumpsuits that I have. I have a black one that I recently featured on Instagram stories and here on YouTube shorts. I had one that I wore a couple years ago that was all silver sequins. It's a jumpsuit. I love sequins. I'm very attracted to glittery and sparkly and what have you, but now it's going into the workforce, which very much excites me because I just bought a sequined black jacket that looks more, it's like a cropped blazer type. And I think that it's going to go really well. I was thinking, oh, can I only wear this like evening or what have you? And now that I see that this 2024 trends all about bringing it into the office, bringing it into <laughs> the boardroom, I'm very excited to test this out. The fifth trend is so up my alley. This brings me back to my core dressing and then it's prep school. So Miu Miu was showing all over the runway, this kind of gossip girl meets going to Harvard and I'm all about it. Prada, Gucci was on board also. So this is the prep style. This is all about looking like that Ralph Lauren sweater of the shoulder, collegiate. I mean, I'm very excited. I've been watching some YouTube videos on the history of this whole kind of prep school attire and where it started. And it's very interesting. I think it, they were saying it started with crew, like the crew members and their uniforms. And I was just loving the history. But I always dress like this. In high school, you could find me with Bermudas, penny loafers, a blazer. I mean, I, it just brings me back. I used to shop at the Limited and they had a designer called Outback Red. So that was like one of the designers I had. It was always Bermudas and a matching jacket. And I don't know, that was just me. I felt very comfortable in it. I was always dressing preppy, but not feeling like, oh, it's I'm going for this prep look. This is just the look that... <laughs> that I liked and that I felt comfortable in and polo sweaters and all of that, that just really rang true to me in my style. And I'm bringing that back for sure in 2024, going back to my roots. And when I saw this on the list, I thought, yes, 
I just love it. It's so clean and it's just so easy and it's athletic but it's yet still classy and definitely makes a statement. So look out for a lots of prep in 2024. So stock up on those button downs, those stripe button downs, get some cashmere sweaters, get some crew neck sweaters. I mean, you're waiting until I just blow it up over on Instagram and my reels. The sixth trend is the non basic basics. Now this goes back to Carolyn Bissett Kennedy in the nineties. She was the style icon. There's a lot of YouTube videos on her. A book recently came out about her style. So there's a resurgence of this kind of 90s, very simplistic, basic pieces, like your basic black t-shirt and your basic jeans, and just really bringing those all out and having this very minimalistic, but yet very classic kind of pared down basic style. I love that. I think it's a great building blocks for your fashion to always have those basics and to be able to dress very minimal, or you can take those pieces and you can layer them up and create other outfits that are a little bit more up-leveled. But I love this, I can't wait to get this book. I've seen it trending now over on TikTok and I just love her style. I think she was just so classic without even trying. I don't think she set out to be this fashion icon or this style icon of the 90s. It just came so naturally to her and she was just so exquisite and so simplistic. The seventh trend is all about like the corner office suite. It's all about power dressing and looking like you have your life together. So you're going to see a lot of boardroom outfits, really powerful jackets women are wearing, maybe with jeans, or maybe they are wearing it with a suit, skirt or pants. I love power dressing and you know what? You don't have to have your life all together. And that's the whole point. The point is, is that this is kind of your vibe, your mood and what you're putting out there. So I love a girl boss. It kind of reminds me of working woman, like where they had the shoulder pads and we need to bring those shoulder pads back because they make your waist look a lot smaller. I love shoulder pads and blazers, but be prepared to see some serious power dressing in 2024. The eighth trend is sheer dressing. Now, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. I know that Prada's doing it, Gabrielle Hurst. We see it on the runways. It, I guess it looks good on the runway. I just don't think it goes from runway to real way because it's just not working. Like seeing your bra and underwear underneath like mesh and trying to accessorize that and putting a bag or a jacket over it. I don't know. For me, it doesn't work. So sheer anything, I just don't see it as a trend, at least in my world in 2024. The ninth trend is these extra large bags. Now, I don't know. I saw this maybe a year or two ago with YSL. They had this big bag. I think they gifted it to so many of these top content creators and that's all you saw, but it's really interesting. You'll see pieces like that for a very short period of time because they're gifted and it's not that the content creator loves them and they're using them all the time and you see it being rotated in their wardrobe. So when I see these extra large bags, I'm like, whoa, it's so overwhelming. First of all, I could have a bag that's like a medium sized bag and I, I have stuff just all in there. It's so frustrating trying to find anything. It's just very disorganized. So I tend to go for smaller bags. So I only carry the necessities. I can imagine an extra large bag. It looks like a duffel bag and you're going to just throw a ton of stuff in there. It's overwhelming. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. Maybe on the runway, it looks really good, but I know Stella McCartney is doing it. I know a lot of different designers are doing it. I think it looks silly and I think it makes you look <laughs> like you're not proportioned with your whole outfit and your accessories. The 10th trend is really interesting because unbeknownst to me, we had a mermaid core back in 2023 where it was like all this mermaid dressing. I missed it. <laughs> Luckily I missed it. But now we have like this ocean vibes kind of thing going on. We had Scrapelli doing like a lobster necklace with this dress. It was very big gold lobster, which I thought was actually kind of interesting. But yet, would I really, would I wear that? Would I walk into a dinner party and feel comfortable with this lobster? Like as a necklace, I don't know. And then now we're doing jellyfish and marine life on different things with different designers. I don't know if you're into it, maybe. I do love coral. Valentino did a collection. I think it was back in 2016 or 17 of coral. I do have a couple pieces. I do really love that kind of feel. But I'm not quite sure about having jellyfish and, and lobsters. Tell me in the comments below, is, is that a vibe for you? Would you be wearing a lobster necklace like that or any other marine life? I would love to know in the comments. The last trend, this is the 11th trend to be on the lookout for for 2024 and that is kitten heels. And I love a kitten heel. I love a kitten heel over a flat. I just think that it up levels your outfit. You can wear with jeans, you can wear with pants, you can wear with a skirt. And so you'll see all the different designers offering 
different kitten heels. You can do a slide that's a kitten heel. You can do a closed toed shoe. I just think it's just wonderful. I've always gravitated toward kitten heels because as you get older, you're not always wanting to wear super high heels. Actually, in fact, I don't wear super high heels. I like to modify them a little bit. And then of course the kitten heel is kind of my go-to. So do you like any of these trends? Is there anything that stands out to you that you identify with? I would love to know in the comments below. I do think some of them are a little silly, but again, we're going from the runway. These are trends. You know that I'm not into trends per se, but we do have a couple classics from Quiet Luxury, from my favorite, Buying Consignment, and then going into the prep factor. I'm very excited to bring this back out, to go back to my core. And ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.